Jesus Christ. <laughs> what a difference a day makes in the great state of Texas. Here, it is Saturday night, a big Saturday night in South Austin, Texas, here on March 30th, 2019, where Old Man Winter has uh, returned with a vengeance. And, uh, I'm, uh, so I just started pumping my gas, literally, about one minute ago. Gas was $2.18. I came and started pumping, and I assume it's still two eighteen. and literally 30 seconds ago, right before I turned, they, they switched the uh, price from $2.18 to $2.35. A uh, good lord, what is that? Uh, 17 cents a gallon or something in the last 30 seconds. But the gas pump says I'm still getting in, uh, getting it for 218. I see the weather forecast. We will not see 60 degrees in uh, Austin, Texas uh, until at least Tuesday. And of course, out in Garfield, Texas, they're saying it could be close to freezing tonight. This time last night, I was out there. Uh, barefooted in a t-shirt, barefooted in a t-shirt playing music with my lovable clueless friends at a picking party last night and uh, here I am uh, 24 hours later uh, freezing my ass off here in the north wind. Good God. Uh, Jesus, here's another. Thank God I got in at the 218 a gallon. Another $30. I was not even supposed to be coming in in this death trap truck that I have today. This fucking death trap truck. But of course, I had to come uh, spend a bunch of money. Uh, two more hours with my geek. And, uh, $20 and an hour of work in his yard. Uh, but the computer is up for another day. And uh, good Lord, so now it's 10.36 on a Saturday night. And I gotta head back to Garfield, Texas now that I've got my computer back, assuming I make it alive in this death trap truck. I uh, got to go study for my Collapse Chronicle interview tomorrow uh, with a very special guest, which you will hear about in a couple of weeks. Uh, so anyway, I was just saying, so it's probably going to be uh, 35 tonight in, uh, in Garfield, Texas, uh, which is halfway between Austin and Bastrop, and I was reading that Barrow, Alaska, Barrow, Alaska, tomorrow is, uh, I think, 31, so it will be 4 degrees, well, of course, it's the low, the, the low in Austin, Texas on March 30th will be uh, 4 degrees, well, in, in Garfield, Texas. Uh, will be four degrees warmer than the high in Barrow, Alaska. They're, they're saying that uh, the temperatures in Alaska are 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Fahrenheit above normal as the ice melt uh, already cranking up uh, in the formerly Great White North. So, uh, I guess I could, uh, be a difference, find that four degree difference between Garfield and Barrow in the next 24 hours. We are completely fucked, but of course now I have to, uh, wonder if I'm getting home alive in this death trap truck. Uh, so what I just did, guys, I'm giving myself 
till April 17th to find a truck in the state of Texas to find a fucking six-cylinder pickup truck in the state of Texas. So I notice that there are a bunch of trucks in the state of Florida where I just came from where I should have bought a damn truck. So I just purchased a $44 plane ticket for April 17th. 44 bucks to fly from Austin, Texas to Orlando, Florida. And if I have not <coughs> bought a truck in Texas by then, I'm gonna get on a fucking airplane in Austin, Texas. I am gonna fly to Orlando, Florida. I am going to walk over to the car rental desk. I'm gonna rent the cheapest car that I can in the state of Florida and I'm gonna head out into the state of Florida until I buy a fucking Toyota six-cylinder pickup truck somewhere in the state of fucking Florida and uh, figure out how to get the goddamn rent a car back to the airport and drive that motherfucking uh, truck back to Austin. You know, the truck that I'm driving in, this gas sucking truck, of course, you know, I was living in California. I was living in Sebastopol, California. When this truck, when, uh, when, when I found this Toyota truck in Texas, and uh, I had to hitchhike uh, halfway across California, you know, and I got on a goddamn airplane and I flew from Oakland, California to Austin, Texas to buy this truck. And then I turned around and drove it back to California. And here I am in uh, the state of Texas getting ready to get on an airplane and fly to Florida. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take an airplane trip to buy a gas sucking truck so I can turn around and drive uh, a thousand miles. Uh, the first thousand miles on my truck will be, I'll, I'll just be getting back to Austin, Texas so I can pack my fucking brand new better gas sucking truck and head to New York. Uh, this is your old eco Nazis uh, uh, maximizing his carbon footprint. This will be the second time in a row I've taken an airplane ride to buy a truck. <laughs> oh God, we are completely fucked, people. Anyway, get out there and enjoy it while you still can and wish me luck on uh, my interview tomorrow. To uh, We're going to talk uh, about humans moving to Mars, I think, is going to be part of the conversation. Uh, humans moving to Mars to save ourselves because our time on this on the blue planet, we're done here. We've killed this planet, so it will be easier to colonize Mars than to save the blue planet from this point forward. So, uh, that ought to be a fun interview. Wish me luck. Bye, guys.